former elections observer joins us from Abuja via telephone. He's been monitoring what's been happening in Burundi and he will be speaking to us about the developments. Ambassador, thank you very much for joining us again on the program. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to start by asking you if you're surprised by what's happening, the events that are unfolding in Burundi. Definitely. Every African will be concerned because we're now going back to the Wagadugu syndrome. When Blaise Campeore one didn't want to relinquish the position and the coup d'etat, now he was fighting on the policy. Now we're going back to the same scenario in Bujumbura. The fact of the matter is that if we have to, if I have to quote uh, Kekero, the famous Italian political philosopher, who says that an unjust peace is always better than a just war. So anything that will be done to bring peace is still better than the situation where we are trying to stop war in conflict prevention earlier. Now we might go up to go to conflict resolution. But in the meantime, there is peace. Thank God. If the military can handle it and there is peace, yes. But then having said that, it is obvious that the African Union will not accept anything that is not a democracy and with elections uh, run by the protagonists in Bujumbura. Only yesterday or a few days ago that the, one of the former rebel leaders came out to say that he was fired his nomination to run for president. No, Ambassador, I beg your pardon. I'm, I'm just drawing your attention to this. There's been a lot of criticism towards the president since this happened, not just for his bid for a third term, but also for leaving his country for Tanzania, even though it's, especially for the fact that it's in, it's in chaos at the moment, even though it was for a good cause. Do you share that view? Well, he went to Arusha. Yes, where you have the East African community. Uh, meeting, you know, and uh, his, his presence there was very vital, definitely. If in his absence something happened, well, the coup plotters took the advantage of his absence, for whatever reason, to be able to try to take a coup. That is the fact of the matter. Mm -hmm. but so he was, in fact, I believe that it was good that he went to see how to go for the, uh, 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 the five years ago they had a, an accord in Arusha. Quick perhaps was what they were calling him for to be able the uh, East African community and uh, the black in East Africa okay. trying to uh, mediate and, and uh, provide a, a forum for there to be peace in that country. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I share with that. Just, just, just before I let you go, Ambassador, what, um, quickly if you can, because we're running out of time, by the way. What do you think we might see unfold in the days to come with what's happened well, today? To come, what I think will unfold is that the African Union will, will tell them to go to, back to their barracks and then let there be general election. And, uh, and then that will be uh, supported also, that will be supported also by the East African community in the same manner. But ECOWAS now went ahead to go to uh, bring everybody to Ghana when they now insisted that the West Africa, uh, ECOWAS will not recognize mm. uh, the, the military junta, if we can put it as that. Well, Ambassador, yeah. thank you. Here. Yes, thank but you so much. Will not support the junta. Very, Ambassador Chikani, we were very thankful to have you again on the program, and we will definitely be reaching out to you subsequently as this yeah, develops. Please do, please do. Thank you, very, Thank you much. very much. It's my pleasure. Of course, Ambassador Chikani is a former elections observer. He's been speaking to us from the nation's capital, Abuja, concerning developments in Burundi with the army attempt to take to take over uh, um, by a coup. We're going to go on a break now on the program. When we come back, we're looking at developments in Kenya. 40 students are missing, and this is happening as Al-Shabaab is still doing some recruiting. Could there be a link? We'll tell you after the break. Please stay with us.